Hello everyone and welcome to Best My Test Campus Vocabulary Series. In today's video, we are going to learn idioms and phrases about selecting courses and attending classes. You are likely to hear these words in TOEFL Listening Campus Conversations or TOEFL Speaking Task 3 and 5. So learning these words will help you to do better on your TOEFL exam. Without further ado, let's get right into that. The first phrase we are looking at today is take a course in a subject. For example, I took a course in accounting means I took an accounting course. Remember, the preposition here is in. In the beginning of every semester, students need to select courses. There are compulsory or required courses and optional or elective courses. Compulsory or required courses are courses students must take. Optional or elective courses are optional subjects or courses in a curriculum. Students are not required to take all of them. However, each course has course credits. A student must obtain certain course credits in a semester. To do that, a student often takes elective courses to get certain amounts of course credits. Okay, everyone who has been to university knows that some courses are tough. That is often the case when the professor of such a class is a so-called tough grader. A tough grader is a teacher that grades students harshly. Often it is difficult for students to get very good grades in such classes. On the contrary, some courses are easy. You can say, this course is an easy A. Let's look at the next phrase, to cut class. If you cut class or skip class, it means you don't go to a class which you are supposed to attend. For example, I'm going to cut math class so that I can finish this project for biology. There's a consequence of skipping classes. Usually a professor takes attendance or roll call. In school, teachers take attendance. This means that they write down who is in class and who is missing. Look at this example conversation. I'm going to pull a all-nighter to complete that math assignment. I might sleep in and skip the accounting course tomorrow morning. Don't do that. Professor Jason takes attendance every class. If you skip any class, he will flunk you. Here, to sleep in means to stay in bed later than usual in the morning. And to flunk means that the professor will make the student fail the accounting class. Another phrase we often hear is drop a class. Drop a class is not the same as skip a class. If you drop a class or drop a course, it means you stop taking that class entirely. There's another phrase called drop out of class. Both phrases mean to stop taking a class, but there's a difference in terms of the consequences here. Dropping a course is the formal process of unenrolling from a course. Often universities offer a so-called drop and add period in the beginning of each semester. In this period, students can enroll in more classes than they will actually take in the end. So during that period, students can drop courses without any penalties or any official records that they were ever enrolled in that class. If you stop taking a course after the drop and add period, this normally results in an official record in your transcripts or a failed grade. Stop taking a course after the first weeks is what we refer to when we say to drop out of a course. Okay, let's talk about grading now. Normally a professor gives a student a final grade based on class attendance, assignments and midterm and final exams. Here you often hear the phrases count toward and count for. For example, this assignment will count toward the final grade. Midterm counts for 20% of the final grade. Class attendance counts for 30% of the final grade. All right, this is the end of today's video. I hope you found this short video helpful and interesting. If so, make sure to like our video and subscribe to our social media channels to stay tuned for more. You can also check out our TOEFL preparation videos and exercises on our homepage www.bestmytest.com. This is Joe from Best My Test and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.